Can a lost species become unextinct? In the 1993 film Jurassic Park, dinosaurs are cloned back to life after their DNA is found intact within the bellies of ancient mosquitoes preserved in amber. While the science of cloning is still in its infancy, many scientists believe it's only a matter of time before extinct animals again walk the earth. Here's our list of seven extinct animals considered for de-extinction through cloning. 1. Woolly Mammoth Woolly mammoths seem like an excellent choice for de-extinction. Many woolly mammoth specimens remain in the permafrost of Siberia. Paleogeneticists, scientists who study preserved genetic material, have sequenced the woolly mammoth genome. The research into the genome, as well as preserved genetic material, has led to work around either creating a woolly mammoth through cloning or through editing the genome of the closest living relative, the Asian elephant. Despite all the enthusiasm some scientists and many non-scientists have for de-extinction of this species, ethical concerns exist. Woolly mammoths were social animals that lived in herds. Attempts at bringing woolly mammoths back from extinction may fail many times before a viable mammoth is born. If using an Asian elephant as a surrogate carrier of the mammoth, the elephant's 22-month gestational period eliminates the possibility of the elephant carrying an offspring to continue the endangered elephant species. 2. Tasmanian Tiger The Tasmanian tiger was a remarkable animal native to Australia and the largest known carnivorous marsupial of modern times. The animals went extinct as recently as the 1930s, mainly due to climate change, bounty hunting, and a lack of genetic diversity. Because they went extinct so recently, specimens of the animal remain intact, preserved in collection jars. Some taxidermy-mounted thylacins in museums may also still retain DNA. Many people of Australia support the de-extinction, and the animal's natural habitat still exists. Some of the animal's genes have already been successfully expressed in a mouse fetus after the scientists inserted the thylacin genes into the mouse's genome, the major project, funded through the Australian Museum, to clone the thylacin ended after scientists failed to obtain enough DNA to create a DNA library for the species. 3. Pyrenean Ibex Still think cloning extinct animals is impossible? Technically, it's already been done, the Pyrenean ibex, or bucardo, recently became the first extinct animal to ever become unextinct, at least, for seven minutes. The cloned fetus, which contained reanimated DNA from the last known living Pyrenean ibex, was successfully brought to term after being implanted in the womb of a living domestic goat. She was the only one of 154 goats who managed to carry an implanted cloned embryo to term. Although the ibex died of lung difficulty seven minutes after birth, the breakthrough paved the way for cloning preservation programs of extinct species. The last known Pyrenean ibex was a female named Celia, who was killed by a falling tree in 2000. It was her DNA that was used to create the short-lived clone. 4. Saber-toothed cats Looking at the epic canine teeth of these once fearsome cats of Pleistocene lore, you may wonder whether resurrecting saber-toothed cats is a good idea. Fossil specimens have survived into modern times thanks to the frigid habitats they once roamed. Ancient tar deposits, like those at the La Brea tar pits, preserved intact specimens, though whether there is enough ancient DNA to create a database is doubtful. This one fires up the imagination and enthusiasm in a science fiction scenario, but the realities of finding an unrelated surrogate able to carry the embryo, raising it, and providing suitable habitat mean this one is a long shot. IUCN guidelines certainly seem to recommend against it. 5. MOA These giant flightless birds, similar in appearance to ostriches and emus, but without vestigial wings, were once the world's largest birds. Because moas were hunted to extinction as recently as 600 years ago in their native New Zealand, 
their feathers and eggs can still be found relatively intact. Scientists have reportedly extracted MOA DNA from ancient eggshells and mapped the genome. Point 10 scientists aren't as enthusiastic as some politicians about the odds of a successful MOA clone and reintroduction of the species. 6. Dodo Perhaps the world's most notorious extinct animal, the dodo, was driven to extinction a mere 80 years after its discovery. Since the bird's habitat on the island of Mauritius contained no natural predators, the dodo did not evolve effective defenses. Point 12 This lack of instincts led to extinction through sailors being able to kill them for food quickly. Invasive species introduced from the sailor ships ate the vegetation that formed the diet of the dodo, as well as the dodo eggs, creating the primary factor causing their extinction. Scientists hope to recover the dodo if they gather enough DNA to create a clone to implant in the eggs of closely related modern pigeon. Described as the most fun animal to bring back, the dodo could return to its native and now protected habitat. 7. Neanderthal The Neanderthal is perhaps the most controversial species eligible for cloning, primarily due to logistics, the surrogate species would be us. A Neanderthal clone would also probably be most viable. Scientists have already completed a rough draft of the Neanderthal genome, for instance. As the most recently extinct member of the Homo genus, Neanderthals are widely considered a subspecies of modern humans. The question is not so much, could we do this, but should we? The ethical considerations seem to outweigh the technical in the case of Neanderthals. A United Nations declaration and many countries ban the cloning of humans. Cloning Neanderthals is controversial, but it could also be illuminating. It also could strengthen the human genome by adding hybrid vigor to the species when humans and Neanderthal peoples mate and create offspring. The ethics of having human surrogates carry the engineered Neanderthal bear examining. Early experiments may result in stillbirths or defects incompatible with life. If successful, there's no way to know whether the child would have immunity to modern bacteria and viruses. If cloning were to take place, considerations of whether sports would allow the stronger Neanderthal to take part, whether the resulting children would find peers among human children. There also is debate on whether Neanderthals would have the ability to communicate and independently manage the functions of modern daily life. In this video, we've looked at seven extinct animals that could be resurrected. These are just a few of the many animals that have gone extinct, and it's possible that we could bring even more back in the future. Resurrecting extinct animals is a controversial topic, but it's also an exciting one. It's a chance to undo some of the damage that we've done to the environment, and it could help us to learn more about the natural world. What do you think about the idea of resurrecting extinct animals? Do you think it's a good idea? Or do you think it's too risky? Let me know in the comments below.